guys, I'm back with some new stuff. Today I'm going to work on the, the cooling system. I decided to move the radiator from inside a little bit out so I can turn the radiator around because as it was before I had the, the, these pipes on the radiator turning into the car and uh, this year I'm going to turn the radiator around so I have the pipes putting back so I can have the cooling underneath the car Now it's welded and uh, I really hope the radiator fits on this now so I'm gonna try it and uh, see how it looks. As you can see, instead of cut this off and weld these on down here, I just took a pipe and some longer bolts and weld it on. The cooler is a little bit uh, bashed up. But uh, it works, no no leaks, so I'm going to run with that uh, cooler for this year and hopefully buy a new one the year after that. I'm in the making of some brackets so I can mount the cooler. And I just uh, fabricated some. I'm going to weld them on the frame for for the fan. Here are the brackets I made. Oh. Before mounting, I'm gonna weld them on here on the frame that the radiator is mounted on with bow with these bolts. And I'm gonna bolt it to the frame I have existing in the car so I don't need to cut that. So I have made one for uh, left side and one, one for right side and I'm gonna make two more on top one here and one on the other side that that way to hopefully it stays uh, put when I'm driving so now the brackets are in place well it welded onto the frame to to the fence and then uh, let's see if it fits So finally I mounted the radiator Not the most pretty welds but I think they hold So, um, so far uh, I'll be coming up with this, this system, uh, 
uh, reduction for 45 to 38 millimeter down to the David Craig pump. This is the cold side. Go through under the car. You can see the hose is back there. Holding up by its ties for now. And the warm side goes here. Bum, bum, bum. Goes in the cylinder head and down. Zip tie and underneath over here and back. And the, the red one over here goes up to this and I need this one. Something like that and like together. Uh, and the cold side goes here goes there and in this one so in the, in the radiator up there so maybe I'll need to do like a, a bracket or a shield or something goes from this uh, middle piece over to the bottom of the car just so it doesn't hit like the drive shaft or on big sides so that is what I been coming up with so far um, there's no like right or wrong to do this. I asked a few people and about where to mount like the, the water pump and some people think um, the best scenario is to like mount uh, the electronic water pump, David Craig pump on the warm side in the engine bay and like suck the warm water out of the engine instead of like focusing to get cold water in the engine. So, but I, I don't have like any good place to put the, the water pump on the warm side because back in the in the booth I have like the water methanol kit and it takes up a lot of room and I also need to have like the pump for that solenoid uh, in the engine bay and the pump in the back. So maybe I think I'll go with this for for now and if it doesn't work I need to redo it. So. We'll try it out. With this setup we have like a long hose with with fluids inside and with no bends or something right before where it sucks the water out so I think this is the good way to to keep coolant inside the turbine all the times so it doesn't like uh, create bubbles or something so so there is only one way to figure out how if they hit the ground, so I just mounted all tires and everything. The car is on its way down. Good clearance there. Hope. So good clearance in the back, good clearance all the way around I think, so. I also need this one, it's a divider so I get it in three. So, because I have heat over here that's building up, so I need to get that out in this hose and to the warm water so it goes back to the radiator With this episode, I'm pretty happy how it came out um, with the pump and everything. I have the pump in, in a good location and I need to figure out some fastening system for the pump and I need a bunch of clamps for these hoses and this one and in the back of the car. 
I also need some hose clamps for underneath the car. Uh, I was planning on buying like the double ones, but now I have the the pipes on different side of the car. So also so it doesn't doesn't heat up each other. So the warm water that goes back into the radiator doesn't heat up the cold ones that's going in the motor. I'm pretty happy with the setup and uh, and I really hope that it solves the issues that I had last year with overheating a bunch of times. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Bjarke and Stefan for help the planning with the plumbing on the car. That was awesome. So I think I'm gonna do like one more episode before I start uh, the engine up. Finish off all the small things I need to finish off like like build an exhaust for the turbo and for the waste wastegate and uh, oil to the turbo and intercooler piping and ele electricity for the pump and set the pump right get water in the system get the air out of the system all the small things and when that's done I need to finish up some stuff in the inside the car gauges and stuff remember to like and subscribe See you next time. Bye.